in PLCs. Groups of classroom teachers, school managers, or subject advisors participate collectively in determining their own professional developmental needs. They set up activities that will drive their professional development and reflect together to improve their practice. Teachers perceive PLCs to be effective when they are needs-driven and practice-oriented. Relationships need to be based on mutual trust and respect, where participating teachers share a sense of collective responsibility for student learning. PLC members should have a shared vision and clear focus on ensuring learning for all pupils and a collaborative reflective inquiry into practice. Teachers discuss what is going on in their classrooms, how they teach and what their challenges are. What is discussed and worked on in the PLC is based on shared, common need and is linked directly to teaching and learning in the classroom. You get to talk about common issues that no one else really understands until you're in that position. So we get to support each other in that way and say, well, what works for you when this happens? And we say, okay, I can try that. Trust is crucial to establishing productive relationships amongst PLC members. Members are open and eager to share, welcoming to all, not afraid to talk about challenges they experience in their teaching, refrain from gender stereotyping, and share their ideas and resources on learning. The name of our PLC is Pick Me Up. So we worked collaboratively and then we had a mutual relationship with each other. So that's what I like. I like about with this PLC. PLC members come together to build a collective understanding of how all their learners learn and how to improve teaching and learning. Members must be prepared for meetings, eager to learn from each other, enthusiastic about sharing and implementing ideas, resources and strategies, willing to participate in and give demonstrations of teaching practice. I learned that teaching is not just putting facts on the chalkboard, it's also developing the learners' brains, their learners' as attitude. They taught me how to deal with learners who are difficult and also those that are doing well. Teachers have a shared vision to improve learning and teaching. Teachers take responsibility and own their PLC. A shared vision on what constitutes high quality teaching and learning is critical. When teachers take ownership of this commitment, learning, not teaching, becomes the focus. We have developed this thing that when you come in the classroom and I see that the pictures in the wall, there's something is lacking. We don't criticize, but we have. Teachers talk about real experiences in the classrooms, what they see and do in their classrooms. They also discuss how what they hear other teachers share in the PLCs will change their practice. We could actually help each other and find new ideas and when we came back we implemented the, some of the ideas and it's like, oh this works. So the next time you go back there's a nice testimony to give and we really enjoyed you know giving the feedback like an okay this work thank you and so it really started on a friendship basis and colleagues coming together on a whole different level than just attending a course. PLCs are an important instrument for school-based professional development due to their collaborative, cost-effective and self-driven nature. <laughs>